welcome back to my youtube channel ah very thing right in this channel i share update on how i trade online what cryptocurrency the best cryptocurrency to actually invest on right so in today's topic we'll be discussing in today's um, video we'll be discussing various things you actually need to know as a beginner on trading right of course when it comes into the crypto market we have two types of trading we have future trading and we have sports trading now what are these uh trading and how can we actually uh, classify this trading right this trading are way way different right but yeah of course they are actually trading with cryptocurrency but they are way way different on spot trading what spot trading does is that you actually have the opportunity to actually buy coin or you want to actually put a particular price you want to actually want to sell that coin at maybe actually set a target which you want the uh the the, the price to hit for it to sell by itself right so you are actually doing that with a stable coin which is called USDT, right or BUSD. USD and USDT are the popular ones that are actually mentioned this um uh on today so this is what we actually need to know about support trading right it's just an investment it actually uh put your money and uh, buy a particular coin that have good potential right that actually do more good uh performance in the future right and uh, we have future trading now what does future trading do so of course future trading is a uh, it's just like prediction of course it's just like prediction right when you move into the market chart and you actually do your analysis take a few steps on the market and it's okay the market is going to go down based on your analysis and there are also other uh traders who are actually predicting that the market should actually go up you are uh, actually predicting that the market is actually go down now you're actually better now if the trade follows uh to your way you will be on profit while they also lose their yeah. so this is what you need to actually know on future uh, on future trading so these are very very classified and different subject but of course we are actually trading on crypto coins right now one of the things that people need to actually stop in crypto is that like uh if you are first uh if you are a if you are a future trader you need to actually stop having the mindset of actually getting profit always right of course you need to actually focus on your strategy so what are you ready to actually learn in the crypto market what are the few steps you need to actually take uh, in the crypto market when actually trading right follow uh what is in the market right people actually when you actually place a trade okay you have profit before you know it's not as profit right so let me actually check out for 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 uh bitcoin right now you can see that bitcoin of course in the crypto market bitcoin is one of the largest okay when we talk keep uh, bitcoin is one of the largest if because you i eventually go down you, you can actually see more significant down movement in other coins right you can just see up obviously here that bitcoin perform a huge downfall over here which lead bitcoin to over about uh it's not enough five hundred right and if you can check on other cryptocurrencies this manipulation was also there okay yes. let me actually show you some proof of that right of course if you check other cryptocurrency you can see this manipulation over there okay you can actually see it over here right and if you actually check other ones so other ones to actually check other ones right so when trading you need to actually hold your motion right of course when trading there are things you need to actually learn if you are a trader right in the begin uh, in the crypto space as a beginner right okay going to right now before i actually give more explanation i'll actually give you tell you my current trade where i actually place the trade all over from here down to uh this point right of course here was where the market manipulated bitcoin actually go down then i see a green candlestick showing us a, uh, a rebound in the market so i actually have to actually trade that and my stop loss my stop loss then was at this candle right at this candle because this uh is the way i can actually afford the 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 phone i can actually afford to lose so the market goes up right and you can see it over here currently the market is actually trading at the rate of 24 
dollar so the market doing well and it has been giving me it has currently given me 30 percent profit uh when i put it to seven times leverage okay so these are one of the things i basically have to do when trading right of course these are mistakes people do right if you're a trader what you have to do is that when market is actually going there are people who are actually afraid of losing because the crypto market is actually way way manipulating of course you can actually uh lose money in the crypto market nobody's perfect but you actually need to monitor the market and monitor the peer you're actually trading on right now people are actually making a good mistake is that when you actually uh place a trade at this level when you actually place a trade right now the, where do you, do you put your stop loss where do you put your stop loss of course you have to actually put your stop loss out here where you actually need the market to go so now when the market when the market is actually going to your direction what do you do right the first step i need to do is that uh, i i think this point here was the point i actually want it to actually break on right sorry guys uh was the point i actually want it to break on now what the coin break here standing at this point over here right standing at this point over here then i'm carrying i'm going to actually shift my stop loss over to this movement here over to this movement this level here right because obviously there are some times that the market will be manipulative and if you don't do that maybe you keep your stop loss at a losing point let me say you're actually trading uh let me say for example a uh, hundred dollar account hundred dollar account right on a particular you're actually trading a uh, hundred dollar uh, and you're actually risking about ten dollar for example and um, you're actually looking more with profit about 100 percent profit let me say yeah your target here is uh 100 uh 100 dollar on your target now these are common sense you actually need to know because the market might be actually be manipulative uh when it comes to all those time right you'll be on profit so what you have to do is to carry your stop loss look at the basic point you actually need to actually put your stop loss right over here is a good point we actually put my stop loss over here right over here you can actually see more pressure holding this area here so that is why i actually put my stop loss here of course when the market was at this level I said okay, I need it to actually go more. Once it's at this level, I actually set my stop loss at this level for so actually the, to the market. So uh, obviously, if the market try to actually go against me on a reversal mode, then I will not be on loss either. I'm going to take profit out of the market. So people are actually when you actually gaining, uh, let me say you're actually trading one thousand dollars and you're actually uh, gaining about let me say. Uh, 300 dollars and over here you start going down right when you see the reversal mode you start actually want to actually take out your profit no so that is not the major way of actually trading so look for those edge look for those resistance level that the market urge to make before actually boosting up so those are the perfect way you actually need to trade up right so over here you can actually see that here is a good level for me to actually put as a point of uh take profit right over here is the good for me to actually put take up take profit right so the when the market actually break this level actually put my stop uh take profit at this level the market go more higher i put my stop loss at this level so currently i'm at this uh i'm at this spot of this level so if the market seems to go more higher of course deals will be a very good level to actually put my stop loss because currently right here this is currently on a resistant uh, zone. So let's say uh, on a resistant zone, if you are actually checking out for the five uh, minutes time frame, of course, you're actually uh, on the one hour time frame. So these are basic things you actually need to stop, uh, you actually need to do when trading. Of course, on risk, how much are you ready to risk? Because when trading other crypto, there are some pairs you actually trade that bring more higher risk. So, how much do you actually need to risk of course if i'm a trader if i'm a, if if i'm to have example uh if i'm to start as a little as if i'm a beginner if i'm to start as it uh, as a future trader as a beginner the, i would advise everyone to actually risk 10 percent 
rest one why i say 10 percent of course you can actually afford to lose 10 percent of your account right so now in future trading you are having about one thousand dollars and you're actually risking 10 percent that should be ten dollar of course that is the minimum you should risk but why do people make mistake actually uh, losing their funds is that people us to trade uh, people also trade sometimes people trade high leverages of course uh, of course if you want to actually trade high leverages is good but you actually need to put an eye for that market and actually know what you are doing where in the market so advice a beginner if you actually is going to the market I would actually advise you to actually start with low uh, leverage of course start with low leverage uh, about five times leverage or three times leverage or ten times leverage so those are going to help you to actually make uh, actually adjust your loss okay so the next thing here we'll be talking about is how much you can actually lose okay uh, put how much you can actually lose let me say you have hundred dollar uh, hundred dollar and you want to actually trade to trade with ten percent of course ten percent is uh, advisable for me to actually for you to actually trade right because over uh, if you are trading with let me say if you have one thousand dollar in a particular account and you are trading with hundred dollars yes it's nice right that's the beginner mode so those are the things you basically need to do when trading right if you are not yet subscribed to my channel do well to subscribe to my channel and also like this video so currently right now we have seen the move of bnb and control i'm floating on profit so i think this trade will actually need to retrace up to this side and if the market seems to actually retrace more high to the market where well, that would be a very good move for uh for for um bnb right of course the reason this is not my target i'll be showing you guys my target over here you can actually see in the one day time frame what um what bnb is, is currently doing the one day time frame you can see that bnb country right now is actually retesting right so that's actually place i have more confidence in this market that is actually going to go more high in the market so obviously here we have a very down movement and we trace it back to the market a down movement i think we actually retracing back to the market right and i think i'm going to actually take my profit at this level over here so that is the level i'm actually waiting for of course my main focus is for us to actually hit the blue line you can see the blue line over here when the market hit the blue line then i'm going to actually close up this trade of course this right if we actually check out um the trend line of bnb you can actually see that bnb are be trending on a zone right uh let me go over to the one week time frame so that i can be zooming way high so you can actually see that bnb has been breaking down from this edge break out this edge. i think this will be a very good resistance level if the market seems to actually go more high in the market right so um uh, so obviously yeah bitcoin uh bnb has actually created more down level going up going down so i think it's actually going to retest back again when i actually look at the one day time frame or at one hour time frame guys if you have not yet started my channel do you just subscribe to my channel i'm going to see my next video but for now i'm going to say peace out